Hello there, everyone. Shibby here. Hope everyone out there is doing well. And today I'm back once again with my playthrough of Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 2. Uh, in the last video, we completed the History of Trunks, and in doing so, we finally unlocked the Android Saga in Artist here. So yeah, after a lot of uh, specials and movie arcs, we are finally into the Cell Saga, or I guess the infancy of it with the Android Saga. But yeah, that's enough of me rambling, and let's actually fight some androids here. Return to their quiet lives on Earth. But a new threat soon emerged to disturb the peace, the android Cell. One after another, the Z Fighters have succumbed to Cell's awesome might. Now, with no one left to stop the monster's onslaught, and with the fate of the world hanging in the balance, the weight of this monumental task now rests on Gohan's shoulders. A year has passed, and still Goku has not returned. But Frieza has come to Earth, burning for revenge. Just as hope seemed lost, a mysterious youth appeared to confront the newly mechanized Frieza. Goku is the only Super Saiyan. You're looking at another one right now. What? Poor Frieza. <laughs> he thinks he's going to beat Goku to Earth, only to run into trunks. <laughs> but alright, let's uh, get into this first fight here. Alright, Frieza, this is, well... I was gonna say this is not gonna go well for you, but you're gonna run away from me immediately. Alright, spot him immediately and go into a burning attack. And I see Death Beam outright beat uh burning attack. Alright, so how you handle this sword. I'm gonna trip him up, knock him down. And you know what? I'm gonna do burning attack again. Do not deny me this move freezing. And thankfully that knocked him right in front of me. Alright, pop him up, charge some more. I gotta really start calling people up after that. I just always forget in the moment. Because I always think it's smarter to keep charge, I don't know why. Alright, let's throw a finish buster at him, why not? And he's gonna become a brain attack. Alright, well, I was gonna see what Chuck's ultimate is here, which I presume it might be Hito, but since Frieza has so little health, there's no use to drawing this shit out. Let's get to the next fight. In a blaze of power, he transformed into a Super Saiyan, and the mighty Frieza was no more. Somehow, he knew Frieza was coming, just as he knew when Goku would return. His name is Trunks. The son of Bulma and Vegeta, he traveled to the past in his mother's time machine to issue a warning. In three years' time, a pair of virtually unstoppable androids will appear and plunge the world into darkness. In three years, if I make it, I'll definitely come back to hell. You'd better come back. Now that I have something to work for, I'm going to start training. Time passed, and the day of destiny drew near. Are the Z Fighters prepared to face the horrors of the androids? The fight for the future is about to begin. After delivering the sensu beans, Yajirobe's air car is suddenly blasted from the sky. God, I cannot read. The Z Fighters begin a frantic search for the unknown assailants. Hey, did you guys happen to see two killer androids around here? Oh no, yeah, I'm sure I would guess the two uh, weird looking dudes with the R and R on their foreheads would probably be the androids. Uh, uh oh. Alright Yamcha, you're level 12, they're level 77. What's the worst that could happen here? Let's find out. Alright Yamcha, we just gotta survive for as long as we can here. How hard could that possibly be? Well, probably not very easy if I just run right up to Android 19 and uh, get my ass kicked. Please don't block everything. Please don't grab me. Alright, thankfully I've interrupted that grab twice. Alright, just knocking this down, let's get some key for Yamcha here. Just stay away from me. Alright, this whole thing fist him. It's unfortunate that it stops the clock, but what can we do? Also, I uh, think it's hysterical that Yamcha makes his own noise. Alright, get out of that. I just got it barely a little bit. Just gonna block that. That headbutt probably hurts with the big sharp thing on top of his head. I don't think he'll mash fast enough to recover. 
Oh, I should have just laid on the ground for about a second longer. All right, get away from me. I do not have the meter that I thought I did. All right, we'll knock him down. All right, we'll bank fist him. Just keep doing this all over here because it should give me a little bit of distance here. All right, yeah, I'll show we can do this. All right, break his guard. Knock him away. Let's get charged up here. All right, we'll just full bank fist him again. Charged up some more. Right, the longer you take to get up, the better. This thing's a lot easier on the option here. Got 12 seconds of bullshit. All right, he turned away from me. Let's just destroy a building. All right, as long as he can't kill me in three seconds, we're okay. But we'll break his guard. All right, Yamcha lives to fight another day. I hope. Unable to call out for help, Yamcha succumbs to the android's attack. But having sensed Yamcha's distress, Goku and the others race to the scene. Look, I'll fight you if that's what you want, but not here! Does not acknowledge Yamcha at all. Androids 19 to 20 have finally revealed themselves. Nothing to say. Nothing to say again. Dr. Giro, an ingenious scientist for the Red Ribbon Army. It was a military robot that Dr. Giro created to exact revenge on Goku. I think you're forgetting something really important. You're going to lose. All right, just completely flabbergasted by that. What? <laughs> just what? I mean, it's not like Goku didn't uh, single-handedly solo the Red Ribbon Army when he was a kid, you know? Alright, we got four spots. Tien's here? <laughs> Alright, well, sure, let's get it. Let's give Shin Han his time to shine. Alright, we'll do Tien, we'll do Krillin, and we'll save the heavy hitters for last. Alright, let's uh, wash 19 here. Alright, 19, we're gonna get Shin Han. Alright, break the guard. Watch him up. I have got that. That had a little bit of a wonky hitbox. I think he's gonna reach me so far away. Alright, just a shit ton of chip. Alright, Tien, come on now. Time to blink that. I can't. Oh, well, he had a uh, 78 to my 46. Well, Tien, you're having a rough go of it. Yamcha had, had a much easier time. Right. I, I would like to be able to take a health bar, Tien. Right, we'll find him. He did not go very far at all, though. All right, he blinks that. Alright, we'll get stuff hits in the in here. This is more of a slugfest than anything else. Alright, him with the driving. There we go, Tien. There we go. God, I, I hit him and was still just stuck in his nose. And this is gonna be the end of Tien, I'm afraid. Yep, yeah, the rest of my key. Alright, Curly, get your revenge. Riot didn't really break his guard, but I'm glad I interrupted that high speed rush, but I'm just gonna this results in me getting my ass kicked. Got twelve thousand damage over on here. Alright, you don't need to kick it in, nineteen, it's not necessary. Block everything I do. Alright, we'll trip him up. Now, he, he doesn't stay down long enough for me to really even have a chance to charge or anything. Alright, we're gonna all that though. we knock him down. Uh, he, that's right, androids can, uh, fuck him, so we'll just hit him through. Alright, we'll 
block that stream. Oh, he's got my back turn to move, so I might be fucked here. Yep. All right, Piccolo, hopefully you have a little bit of a better luck here than Tien and uh, Krillin. Time for me to step. All right, let's smash him down. Nothing stupid. If I throw a light grenade in, he's more likely to absorb it. And he's going to help. All right, he's going to charge up here. And that went right around it. Light grenade. I kind of thought that was just going to uh, go in a straight line, and it did not. Okay, nineteen is fucking me up. He blocks the low. He blocks it again. Right, not that time though. And that's unfortunate. Flip the ground. At least that was a grenade grab. Alright, Piccolo, let's try to get up off the ground here if we can. Nope, wake up into an ass beating. Alright, there we go, there's the block. That at the very least. Get out of the way. Alright, knock the down. Let's see if we can just this with a light grenade. Alright, take that, 19. Don't even need Goku for that. Stricken by a crippling heart virus in the midst of battle, Goku is unable to resist, 19. However, driven by his fierce Saiyan pride, Vegeta enters the fray. Goku has lost his ability to resist the androids when his greatest rival, Vegeta, appears. If anyone beats Kakarot, it'll be me. I won't allow you to deny me that satisfaction. Okay, very well. Alright, I guess it's time to find out if androids can experience fear. Let's do it. Alright, you ain't shit when it comes to Vegeta. Let's go. Alright, trip him up. Alright, let's power up here. That's a common mistake. Okay, he's gonna be just gonna get hit by it for the most part. No, sir. Smack him down. That's an unfortunate miss. Embarrassing. Alright. Pop him up. Let's get charged up here and get an explosive wave. I don't think he can yeah, absorb explosive wave. It'd be interesting if he could. Alright, Vegeta's gonna blow up there. I kindly ask you to not take my energy 19. Alright, let's try to move in here. I will lock. He did not go very far. Alright, he's just gonna stay in there and whiff. Well, that time he whiffed, he whiffed right into me. Just means he got a hit. Alright, we're gonna get that energy wave volley. Okay, now he's starting to kick it in. I don't know why. Alright, we'll launch him up. And we'll start with the blasting this horribly. He's getting kind of stuck in the absorb animation, so I'll just take advantage of that and knock him out. Having at last transformed himself into a Super Saiyan, Vegeta crushes Android 19. Nothing to say, Jiro, of course. Feeling the battle is slipping from his control, Android 20 makes a hasty retreat. And it looks like we're back in control of Piccolo here. But I do believe I'm going to uh, stop here for today, since we're going to get ready to uh, get into the introduction of 17 and 18. And uh, we'll next video will probably be a longer video from there because of that. But yeah, I'm going to believe I'm going to stop right here. And if you made it this far, I thank you for watching. Uh, like, subscribe if you feel like it, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.